Hi guys, this is Saeed and today I'm here to show you how you can marinate the mincemeat for special kebabs such as Rashmi kebab, Shami kebab or even mushroom delight or stuffed pepper. Uh, it's quite similar to shik kebab um, marination guys uh, for shik kebab you know the, we, uh, the I, I got other video the other video I got uh, for shik kebab recipe uh, but this one bit different a little bit and this is uh, this is a very special kebab guys you can make shik kebab as well with this uh, men's meat marination guys so let's start uh, I got a hair one big bowl First guys I'm going to add salt, uh, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. I go here 500 gram uh, mincemeat guys, as you can see 500 gram. So I added half teaspoon of salt, then garlic ginger paste about one teaspoon. I go garlic ginger paste uh, recipe on my channel, you can have a look and also then I'm going to add some green chilies I got about two finely chopped green chilies guys now I'm going to add the spices uh, spice I go here uh, normal turmeric, coriander, garam masala, uh, cumin powder and, and paprika powder so first I'm going to add coriander powder about coriander powder actually I'm going to add, add one teaspoon uh, Garam masala half teaspoon, cumin powder about half teaspoon, and paprika powder. Actually, I'm going to add one teaspoon, guys. But this is optional. If you don't like paprika, you can skip it, guys. No turmeric. Now, I'm going to add some uh, Kashmiri paste. Kashmiri paste, I'm using here Pataks one, uh, you can use any brand as long as it's Kashmiri. Also guys, when you add the Kashmiri paste from uh, from the jar, make sure you don't add the oil from the from the jar because it's mincemeat, uh, you don't add oil, so make sure it's dry and also uh, the bowl you're going to use for mixing the mincemeat, make sure the bowl is dry as well. Right now I'm going to add some about one teaspoon of uh, fenugreek leaves and I'm going to add some dried oregano as well. Um, that's up to you if you don't like oregano you can skip it. I'm going to add one teaspoon. I'm going to add onion. I uh, go here about one onion, guys. 120 gram, uh, small, finely chopped. So I got mincemeat here, 500 gram. And I'm going to add coriander, about one handful of coriander, guys. And I'm going to add the egg, one whisk egg. And now guys, I'm going to add some color. Well, let me wash my hand, then I will add it. Right now I'm going to add the color guys. Uh, color actually I'm going to mix it with the orange. Orange I'm going to add a bit less than half, uh, one quarter teaspoon. And about one quarter teaspoon for uh, red color. This is done. All the spices added. Now it's time to mix it. Now to mix it, I use my hand. When you use your hand, guys, uh, the spices also stick to the, sticks to the mixture. Now is it, this, with this mix guys, you can make easily shami kebab, uh, reshmi kebab or mushroom delight, stuffed pepper, also shik kebab as well. Uh, if you make it tomorrow, I mean overnight marination, yeah, and tomorrow, uh, you can eat, I mean, 
you can easily make shit kebab as well with this marination. It's a very nice place. Uh, you can try. Uh, this is a special mix. Normally in shit kebab marination, we don't use uh, onions. Some restaurants, I think, made they may use it, but uh, the traditional ones they don't they don't use um, onions into the for for the shit kebab marination thing is. So that's it. I'm gonna transfer it to one of of the bowl then I'm gonna keep it for I mean marinate for it overnight then I can make something from tomorrow right guys just make sure it's airtight when you put it in the fridge uh, it has to be air, I mean air, it has to be airtight so that's it that's it guys see you tomorrow Hi everyone I'm back after overnight of marination of my special mincemeat Today I'm going to show you two appetizers you can make with this special uh, mincemeat. The first one I'm gonna make uh, stuffed pepper. Stuffed pepper is really, it's a very um, one of one of the I mean popular uh, appetizers in BIR restaurant. I mean Indian restaurants uh, sector. Uh, you can make this stuffed pepper easily at home. Uh, so today uh, I'll show you another one. It's called Rashmi kebab. The Rashmi kebab, I will um, I will make this with the, with the mince meat as well. So first, let me show you how you can uh, prepare the pepper for your stock pepper. First, let me step what you do basically. Um, so first, you slit it and make sure there is enough space that your knife can go in and clean the inside up. the seeds from the inside that's it let me show you guys look I've done the I've done another one here that's it so you know the stock pepper we cook it into the oven uh, the tandoor oven but obviously I don't have tandoor oven at home so I'm gonna uh, make it in into on my um, cast iron pan so I'm taking about 100, 100 gram of kima mince meat. Depends on you know, how big is the, uh, the the paper. So what you do basically, put it inside, then you close it. Now I'm going to prepare the Rashmi kebabs uh, meat. So first I'll go here about 100 gram kima. Right guys, I go here cast iron pan. Uh, you can use a non-stick pan as well. Uh, but I'm going to use the cast iron pan. Let's see how it comes out on this. Uh, the first, I'm going to cook the meat. I mean, the Rashmi kebabs meat. Go here, and also I got two eggs. I'm going to uh, fry the egg after after I make the uh, after I make the kebab. So to start the process, guys, I'm going to add some butter ghee. You can add oil as well if you want. If you don't like ghee. First, I'm going to put also if you want to add some grated cheese as well for your Rashmi kebab, you can add some grated cheese as well. I'm going to add the I'm going to add two of my stuffed pepper now. I 
because my kebabs are almost ready. So I'm going to as the kebab is done, I'm going to remove the kebab now. I'll show you how you're gonna know. It's all done, guys. The kebab is ready. Now this too, yeah, you have to be very careful because the heat will have to go inside otherwise the kima is not going to cook properly so that's why you have to be very careful uh, you have to slow cook it uh, normally obviously we cook it on the tandoori uh, we don't cook, but you can cook it on the uh, oven as well grill oven now what I'm going to do here yeah, I'm going to leave him on the other, other, co other burner and I'm going to make the Reshmi Kebab's egg now I'm going to fry the egg guys the oil is too much hot now, so I'm going to wait for a second, for a few seconds, then I'm going to... I got here one egg, uh, I'm going to fry the egg now. I got about two teaspoons of uh, cooking oil here. A little bit of salt to taste. And also my uh, stuffed pepper is almost getting ready guys. It's almost cooked. I'll show you in a bit. As you can see the kima is saying it's, it's done. Almost. So I'll wait for a bit more. Then I should put a lead on the top. So I'm going to make uh, three egg guys. Two, three people. I can have it. I think guys, my um, the Rashmi kebab is almost ready. Now, let me show you the kima. Oh, the stuffed pepper is all is cooked as you can see mm. let me check the other one so the stuffed pepper is, is ready I'm going to transfer it to my serving bowl to make a uh, buna sauce for this small buna sauce for this one um, you can have it or if you want uh, to have I mean on its own you can have it on its own guys normally in, in the restaurant um, they just uh, on the starter it just comes on its own but I will I will show you a sauce you can make with for, for this one guys okay so let me right guys now I'm going to make the buna sauce uh, for the stop pepper so I'm going to add about uh, one tablespoon of butter ghee about one tablespoon of um, cooking oil about two tablespoons of guys not one tablespoon then I'm going to add half teaspoon of chopped garlic Then I go here, uh, pre cooked onion, guys, service onion. Uh, about one, t one tablespoon. But if you want bigger sauce, guys, uh, I'm making just for starter. But if you want bigger sauce, you can add some little bit more, two tablespoons. And also, I'm going to add tomato puree. I got video recipe on my channel for. For the tomato puree and service onion, you can make you can make it with the fresh onion as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm adding uh, the tomato puree about one and a half tablespoon, and I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going 
shred the mixed curry powder. I got the video recipe on my channel as well for this. One quarter teaspoon. All right, guys, I'm going to add some uh, masala sauce. I got the base uh, masala base uh, recipe on my channel as well. It's, if you don't like, if you don't want to add it, guys, you can you can skip it. But I'm adding about one tablespoon. Also, I'm going to add some spring onion. Some fenugreek leaves. And some green chili. So I'm going to add tomato as well. Now I'm going to add some gravy. Right guys, now uh, I got some base gravy. I got the base gravy recipe on my channel as well. And look at the consistency guys. I added a little bit of water with my, on, the, on the gravy because I cooked the gravy yesterday. So it's a bit diluted but not too thin. I added about a little bit of water to make it, make it thinner. Let me show you. Might say it's watery, but it's not watery, guys. A bit thinner. I made it thinner because, as you know, I don't like uh, I don't like thick gravy, guys. Uh, but if you want to add thick gravy, you can add it. I'm going to add some coriander. This because my sauce is ready. I'm going to transfer it to my starter plate. Give me one second. Let's see, guys. The stock pepper and rashmi kebab is done. Right, guys. My rashmi kebab and my uh, stock pepper is done pepper with the special sauce on the top now let's see how it's turned out I've got two here uh, mm, it's beautiful let me show you another one please The sauce, guys, is trust me, it's beautiful. Uh, you can have it without sauce as well if you want, but with the sauce, the, look at the pepper, it's perfectly cooked as well. Soft, mm. beautiful. Now, let me show you the rush mix bar. Fresh meat kebab looks good. It's looks beautiful with the kebab. Kebab is cooked perfectly as well. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Hmm. Beautiful guys, beautiful, trust me. That's it, thank you very much guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share. Also if you have any questions regarding this recipe or any other recipe guys, please leave a comment below, I will answer as soon as possible. That's it, bye bye guys.